there, Psych2Goers, and welcome back to another video. Does your mind sometimes draw a blank when you're talking to your crush? Getting to talk to your crush can be an exciting and nerve-wracking feeling, but sometimes you find yourself sitting in an awkward silence with them or you run out of things to talk about. To help you with that, here are 13 questions you could ask your crush. Number one, what is the one thing that you want four years from now? Are they someone who thinks a lot about the future or do they like to live in the present? Maybe both. This could give you insight into what kind of person they are. Two, where is your favorite place? Someone's favorite place could be where they go to when they feel stressed out or disconnected. It could be a place related to their childhood, but it's a getaway from their reality and a place to just relax. Knowing this could bring your relationship with them just a little closer. Three, where is the one place you wanna to travel to? Asking your crush about the travel destination they most want to go to can be a great conversation starter. It lets you know if there's someone who even likes to travel. And if by chance you choose the same travel destinations, then both of you can dive into why you like this place so much and talk about what landmarks you wanna check out first. Four, do you have any funny memories from your childhood? Does your crush like to prank people or were they more of an innocent child? We all have some funny childhood stories that show how awkward or clumsy we once were. Talking about your childhood and learning about what kind of kid your crush was can be a good way to laugh and bond with them. Five, what are your friends like? We often make friends with people whom we share similar hobbies and interests with. So learning about what their friends are like can give you insight into what they're like too. If their friends like adventure sports, then there's a high chance that your crush enjoys that too. Number six, do you like to go out on the weekends? Is your crush someone who likes to party or do they like to be alone to relax? Maybe they like to get out together with their friends and family after a busy week. What they like doing on the weekends and who they like to spend their time with can tell you a lot about who they are. Seven, what's your family like? This can tell you what kind of relationship they have with their family and may reveal to you whether or not they're family oriented. If, however, they don't wanna talk about their family, it could mean that they don't have a good relationship with them and it would be best to move on to a different topic. If they talk very fondly about them, then it shows that they're definitely close to them. Eight, is there anything that scares you? The thing that scares them most can tell you a lot about them. Those who are scared by darkness may not necessarily be scared of darkness itself, but more so the fear of the unknown, or people who don't like public speaking are usually afraid of embarrassing themselves. Talking about your deepest fears can make you feel very vulnerable and therefore bring your relationship with them closer. Nine, what do you do when you feel bored? Instead of asking them, what are your hobbies? You can ask them, what do you do when you feel bored? This will not only tell you about their hobbies, but will also show how they spend their free time. Number 10, what is one thing you don't like? Knowing their dislikes is just as important as knowing their likes. You could talk about why they dislike something and what made them dislike it. You may end up bonding over certain dislikes or even tease them for it. 11, what's your favorite character? Your favorite characters are usually ones you relate to on a personal level or someone you feel a close affinity with. They may mirror your deepest desires and fears or even reflect the qualities that you look up to. Asking your crush about their favorite character could tell you what kind of person they are. Number 12, what do you like more, reading books or watching movies? It's a question that can tell you whether or not they're a passionate reader or movie watcher. Learning about this, you can bond over your favorite books or movies and learn more about each other. 13, name your top five TV shows. There's a chance that in the list of their top five shows, there's one that you both have watched and enjoyed. This can be something you both bond and geek out over. Having a shared interest can lead to more passionate discussions on strange theories about the show or about your favorite character or episode. Do you agree with our list? Have you ever thought about asking any of these questions to your crush? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go for more content. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.